With school back in session, it might be time to start thinking about booking those fall vacations. Yes, uh, we tried to take you out to a cruise ship in the middle of the Atlantic, and we had a little issue with the signal, but we got our buddy back, <laughs> Mr. Jim Garrity from AAA, uh, inside where we got a better signal. Jim, good morning. How you doing? A uh, better signal. The big problem, though, it's so hot out here that the, the phone overheated. But that happens when you're on a cruise ship in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, right? I know, yeah. Uh, your question, how am I? Couldn't be better. I'm, I'm on a cruise for work. And it is that time to start talking about it again. Getting back on cruise ships, a lot of people are definitely thinking about that, Owen. And what about uh, taking a cruise in the fall? It's a good season for it. That's a great season for it. Yeah, I mean, like, there's no real bad time of the year to take a cruise. Uh, but fall is a great time of the year because cruising offers you so many options around the globe, really. And if you want to kind of escape, the temperatures are getting cooler. You can still take advantage of for example, where I was in the Bahamas, where it's so hot and it's so beautiful. And as we get into this time of the year, you have, like you said, more people going back to school, more people going back to work, uh, kind of the summer vacations coming to an end. So crowd wise, you have a little bit more space. So, Jim, if folks have, who are watching have never been on a cruise, what can you tell them about what to expect and all that's offered? Well, what, why I love cruising is, look, it's a floating city. For example, behind me here, this is the... I'm on the Independence of the Seas for Royal Caribbean. This is the promenade. And up and down this stretch here, you have restaurants, you have entertainment, you have bars, you have shopping. And then, you know, there's other, depending on what you want to do, no matter what time of the day it is, there's always something for you. Whether it's enjoying this kind of entertainment, whether it's hanging out on the deck, whether it's getting off the ship at your ports of call and enjoying the local scenery, uh, like I did at Coco Cay, like I did in, in the Bahamas and Nassau yesterday. Uh, there is just so much to do on a cruise ship. It's really everything rolled into one, and it's that you can tailor, you know, specifically depending on what you're looking for price wise, you can tailor uh, specifically what you're looking for in terms of length, uh, whether it's for the family, whether you're young, whether you're old, there's something for everybody. And Royal Caribbean is one of those brands we, we talk a lot about, uh, specific, specifically in this part of the country, and they've invested in a brand new cruise terminal opening in November. What can you tell us about that? You know, a very exciting project the Royal is bringing to Galveston. It's going to be uh, great news for everybody in the Houston area because they're essentially expanding with the with the renov with the, not a renovation. They're building a new uh, a new center that's going to expand the options for people in the Houston area. And what's really nice is for you know like for, for if you live in the Houston area, you don't have to fly to your mm -hmm. cruise destination. It's right down the street. Yeah. In terms of convenience, that's great for people. You know that it's it's not a far drive. And it's something easy. You could do a weekender if you want to just go out and come back two days, three days. This particular cruise that I'm on is four days. And I've had a great time, especially at Royals. We talk about investments. Royals uh, Private Island, Coco Cay, which has, and I'm proud to say this, one of the largest water slides, tallest water slide in North America. I rode it. A little scary, but great time. <laughs> uh, something for everybody there. And you talk about the ocean, crystal clear, beautiful waters. Uh, unbelievable. I will be back. Jim Garrity, we're completely jealous. Well, that, and, yeah, uh, for yeah, sure. But, man, <laughs> something to set your sights on and plan for and, and do, right? Yeah. Yes. Good Good day at the office, right? Great day at no the kidding. office. Yes. Jim, Jim Garrity with AAA. Thanks, man. We appreciate the details and the view that we had and, sure. and happy to speak with you this morning. Likewise. Thanks for having me on.